So this week I also went out and did a irrigation box or a water box and those are so nice. <laughs> I very, it seems as though I very rarely get them now. Um, other beekeepers seem to get more of those and I, maybe it's just me thinking this, um, but I, I think I'm getting some more of the nastier removals. Um, but it, so every now and then it's so nice to just get something easy, which an irrigation box, a valve box, it's in a contained area. You don't have to guess where the bees have gone to. You don't have to follow the bees out. You don't have to chase the comb or chase the bees. And it's just all there nicely contained and you just lift it out and put it into some in, into your box. <sighs> Except for this one. Um, so we're at the end of May and this poor hive um, has already had two meltdowns. So when you see the photographs or the video, um, you're gonna see white comb and you're gonna see dark comb. So um, the dark comb fell down first. It was um, a lot of brood comb. Um, they've been there for you know a couple months or so. And so they got that initial brown comb fell first. Then you can tell that they rebuilt more brood comb um, and it's white and it was like, then it kind of collapsed and it kind of melted in. Um, and then, <laughs> On the cover, they started two new combs. So this would be like their third attempt to build in this house where they continuously are having um, meltdowns. Um, so it was kind of sad for the bees. The other sad thing is, is that most all of the comb was all brood. Um, this is a trait of the Africanized bees, something that they do. They just make more and more and more baby bees um, without even looking at their food stores. They are not conservative at all. This is what gets them in trouble. And this hive literally would be starving probably within the week. Um, they had just a little bit of honey, uh, not much. And so um, kind of tells us uh, the end of the, um, the, the nectar flow is here. Um, this hive though was removed out of uh, the Rita Ranch area in Tucson. Um, so it is in a residential area and they weren't, they just, they had a lot, they had a lot of bees, but they didn't have a lot of stores. Um, and it probably is, you know, every time they had a collapse, um, they probably had a disruption in their demographics because if you think about brood, you know, collapsing baby bees getting smushed before they're even emerging from their cells. Um, so all that, you know, all the resource, resources that they were bringing in gets lost because it was not to make the hive stronger. So every time that they had that collapse, um, they had a setback. Um, so this poor hive, I feel bad for it. It is now in our apiary. Um, it's got sugar syrup. And um, so it kind of just tells us that, uh, you know, this is a, a colony. We're gonna spend um, some money um, rehabilitating. Um, got the queen, saw her. Uh, sorry, I didn't get a picture. She was a little shy. Um, but with that said, um, first I'm gonna show you that. Here it comes. So I was naughty and I did talk to my husband first. I had permission, um, not permission, we discussed it um, to make sure that um, it was okay with both of us because there's periods where he has to take care of my animals. And so um, I go over with him something that I want to add to the farm and that's only proper. Um, I know a lot of ladies that sneak things in and I've been known to do that a few times. Um, so <laughs> I, uh, I used to have some pheasants and I lost them. 
And so when some pheasants popped up available, I jumped on them. Um, so Dan and I now have some pheasants. Um, one, the male is a, a silver. And though they thought that the sibling, that they were siblings, I was talking to a friend of mine who is a breeder and she says, no, that hen is not a silver. And sure enough, I looked it up. So um, I know the other breeder where the, these pheasants came from and she incubates, she has to incubate. They, they don't do natural um, hatching. Um, so I think that the eggs just got kind of um, mixed um, probably by, by her helper, which is no, no big deal. But it looks as though I have a golden hen and a silver rooster. And just to close out with something really, really cute. I don't know if it's cuter than my pheasants, but um, so my pheasants, by the way, are about eight months old. Um, he is just starting to get into his colored plumage, um, his his strutting feathers. So uh, he's starting to, to get the pretty nest. So hopefully we'll be able to share some pictures as he evolves into getting his full, um, full, um, just, they'll be gorgeous. So, um, but Dan and I were out hiking a few months ago and um, I looked over into this tree and I, I had gotten dive bombed by a hummingbird in the middle of nowhere. And I looked over and she was protecting her nest. So I stood very still and I filmed her for just a little bit, um, trying not to disturb her too much, just so that I could share with you guys. And so I hope that you enjoy these videos and I will see you again soon.